So today's video is going to be a quick boat tour. I'm going to give you guys the whole tour around the whole thing, show you what I'm working with, what it looks like right now, and uh, yeah, I feel like you all want to see what the entire boat looks like. Again, I'm not totally finished with it, but um, I'm on it, I'm living on it, so uh, it's good enough to show you guys. I hope you guys like this video. Thanks. All right, well, I'm already inside the boat and it's really hot outside, so we might as well start in here. I'm gonna start with the V-berth, where I sleep. This is my bed. Uh, I got a brand new eight inch mattress. You guys saw in one of my videos that I cut and I put in here. We're coming up here and taking a look. I built a little shelf for some batteries. Those batteries are gonna be for my windlass. Um, I haven't, I haven't installed it yet. I'm hoping uh, along my way I find someone that's done one before and they can give me some tips. Bedside hammock, hanging some phones and stuff in there. Two hatch windows, this is that guy I replaced. Still haven't stained it like the rest, but she's together, she's solid and I like it. Looking out here, we got a new little friend. His name is Gerald, you'll meet him in a little bit. Uh, keep moving around. This right here is basically my clothes storage or part of it. So I got clothes in here, winter clothes, summer clothes, everything I got to store away in winter clothes. It's getting too hot. Underwear, socks, shirts, extra bags. Now if we spin back around, down here, more shirts, shorts, and that's just an empty compartment. That opens up and goes inside to the water tank and all that jazz. Uh, porthole to the water storage. Now let's keep on moving this way. Give you guys the bathroom next. The poo quarters. Nice door. And this is where the magic happens. All right. Complete wet bathroom. And uh, she's not the biggest, so let's, let's take, hop in here real quick. Let you guys see what we're working with. As you can see, my head, I gotta cock my head sideways. But I've got a mobile shower, and uh, she does what I need her to do. Now let's go into the nitty gritty. This is my shower. It's actually got quite good pressure. I'm very happy with it. It connects right to my sink here, runs through the hose and up into the shower head. This is how you turn it on and off. There's a little lever here. And you just gotta turn the sink on and then it converts over into there. Now everybody's favorite question, the toilets. And why is there kitty litter on top of my toilet? Well guys, I have what is called a composting toilet. But I've got a bougie composting toilet. So instead of putting composting flakes in there, what I'd use is kitty litter. So uh, I'm just a big cat shit in a box. Excuse me, a bucket. This is what we got. All right, my dad built this quite some time ago. Nice toilet seat to make it look presenting. Bucket, bag, kitty litter. And away she goes. This is an emergency only toilet. You know, if I'm gonna, if I gotta go anywhere else, or if I can't go anywhere else, I will go anywhere else. All right, now for number one, I have my fancy pee cup. And uh, this pee cup does justice. So what I do is I, look at the light shining on it. My holy pee cup. Um, I pee in the cup, fill it up, pour it down the sink. The sink is a through hole that leads out to the outside of the boat. Throw some soap in there, rinse it out, and then that's our bathroom. And of course, got a nice mirror. Hello world. Oh wow, I am looking rough today. So that's our bathroom. Let's keep on pushing forward. Let's give you guys a little ceiling up here. I love this stuff. I love this guy. Gives me some ocean vibes. Can't wait to get there. And let's spin her around and work into the rest of the boat. So here is the couch. Couch one is made of three inch foam. Memory foam for a bed. It's fantastic, it's comfortable. I highly recommend all of you do this if you have a boat like mine. Storage area up here. I got food in here. I got some food in here. I'm not gonna open up everything for you guys. Two more storage compartments down there. Not very 
neat. I'm just giving you guys a quick little brief. Down here we have power tools, fasteners, screws. Over here I have all my other tools, wrenches, freaking screwdrivers, ratchets, pliers, you name it. This thing is full to the brim as you can tell. Just in case anything ever goes wrong, I can help myself out. Down here, extra parts, filters, all that jazz. Over here, first aid, um, flares, all that kind of emergency stuff. Now, that you've seen me on my knees, probably in my boxers. Guys, it's hot as hell today. Sorry I'm in my boxers, but sorry, not sorry. Move into the port side. This is my favorite area. This is my work area. This is my office, I guess you could say. Um, this is where I sit. Here's my table, bookshelf, all that good stuff. My supplements, medicines, extra sunglasses. The book for my engine, very, very important. Gotta smell good. Remember boats and hose, ladies. More books, sailing book, extra iPad. This is my flower vase. And this table folds up onto the wall. I'll cut to that and I'll show you guys that. Over here, this is my important stuff. I got uh, camera books. That creepy doll is somebody gifted me. They said that her their spirit travels in that doll. So, doll's coming with. Electronics corner obviously does not look very neat. I know, um, we're working on it, but as of right now, it's working for me. This is my storage corner, cable corner right now. It is a mess. I got a lot of storage underneath here that this stuff's got to go inside. But uh, right now, I'm leaving it open because I all that stuff back here. These are extra pieces to my engine, like my backup pieces and some other stuff that I want at hand. Just in case something goes wrong in the beginning. Once I trust the boat more, we'll clean it up. Keep on moving through. We got our galley, a uh, lovely little galley. I have a normal uh, refrigerator. It's like a dorm style. Oh, come goes iced tea. It's like a dorm style refrigerator. Not ideal for the boat life, but right now it is what it is. I will upgrade eventually to get a deep freezer slash fridge. And moving back here, we have my dishes that I just cleaned. So you guys didn't think that was a slob. So hold on. So keep on going where all those dishes just were. We have my ice chest, which uh, is full of ice right now. I got a bunch of meat and stuff down there. These slide over to help it stay nice and cool. That's what I'm using primarily for um, storage of meats, veggies, all the stuff that's non perishable. Rice, seasoning, propane for my stove and my grill, snacks, everything else you can think of. Down in there is another cupboard where I have all my pots, pans, and stuff that aren't up here. Anything you see here right now is what I use on daily um, or every once in a while. You know, something that I, that I know I'm going to use again. Up top, fish and pole storage. Got to keep that stuff good. Headlamps for nighttime. Polaroid camera. I think I'm going to make this roof right here. I'm going to cover this all in Polaroid pictures throughout my adventures. We'll see how that looks. That's the plan anyway. This is Bob. Bob is my plant. Bob was gifted to me by Bob and his girlfriend Dina last year when I tried to leave. He's thriving right now. He's a little burnt because I left him out of the sun too long. But Bob is doing good. He's going to accompany me on this trip. And then of course we got my primary life jacket for when I'm out there by myself. And uh, yeah, this is the humble abode. Oh yeah, this right here, this is my battery charger and my other battery for the windlass. Speaking of the windlass, windlass is right here. Just gotta install it. So yeah, that's not all that. That's usually a lot more neat, but it is what it is right now. This also turns out into another bed. So this pulls out, as you can see here, some handles to pull out. This pulls out into a little bit bigger than a twin, a little small, a little full. And uh, what I would do is put 
this topper and this topper on top of each other and you have a six inch bed right there for any guests that want to come or one person here one person here and this quarter berth as well can fit somebody i've got cushions down for that too that's about three inches there um just in case i ever have crew on board and uh friends that want to come stay and all that jazz so yeah all right so now we're outside of the boat let's uh take a little gander jump on the swim deck in the back love this swim deck one of my favorite add-ons to my boat so out here we got 400 watts of solar 100 200 300 400 this runs my 312 volt battery power pack that i have down below looking through into the cockpit my custom captain's chair because it's a pain in the butt to look over top of it a bow line uh excuse me a stern line that is my rear anchor line which is stuck in the water right now i gotta get it undone a lovely dinghy life float and all this netting i did all this netting last year um and then my wonderful magma barbecue i love this thing we got my auto helm 3000 autopilot right there connected onto my wheel steering and the drive is right down there keep moving forward we got a new control module i put in still got a connected tachometer and the oil pressure but we're getting there my lovely dodger very proud of this made a big mistake on it i made it too short i wish i brought it out to about here so the water dripped down instead of dripping so close to the door but i'm gonna make some fixes with it as we go my starlink boom with my mainsail i gotta get sail covers i know some fishing stuff with a uh, citronella candle anchor chain gloves door hatches moving towards the bow we have our fenders we have how my dodger is strapped down right now because i still have to get these brackets to put it on permanently i know tripping has it right there very cautious of that right now also i got a batten right there i gotta put into the mainsail still moving forward boat hook need one of those 24 7 canvas because my front hatch leaks a little bit i fixed it but we're working on it 100 liter scuba tank this ladies and gentlemen is my new sailing buddy this is gerald gerald has been around with me since the college days i uh Stole him off some of his front lawn when I was drunk one night. Sorry for whoever owned Gerald Pryor. I promise he's going on a trip around the world. Gerald hangs out there. Here I said my scuba tank. Just wanted to get another one. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 22 and a half gallons of fuel, meaning diesel and gas. So this is a diesel engine in my boat, but I have a gas powered dinghy engine over there. So we have gas in this guy for backup and the rest of these are all diesel. Right now I've got about 13 gallons of the bad fuel that I have to mix in with it. The other two have fresh tanks in there. I as well have a six gallon tank for the dinghy of gas right there. That gas can is garbage, there's a hole in it, so I gotta get rid of that. Um, look at the front, we've got my Genoa with a furling line. Anchor hatch with my anchor out right now. Low tide as you guys can tell, so really low tide. Oh look, the blue heron. Um, so that's out there. The line will go into here. I'm gonna put my windlass right about here, I believe which goes right above my bathroom, or right above my bedroom head, sorry. And then coming back, facing forward, this is Aphrodite. Yeah, that's her guys. Let me know in the comments if you got any questions about the boat. I will gladly answer anything you want, any recommendations, anything like that. Feel free, I'm always open to uh, learning new things, hearing new stuff, and uh, even if I'm doing something wrong and you think it is really stupid, please let me know. Once again, I'm very new to this sailing thing. And uh, the sailing community is very nice and helpful, I figured out so far. So 
please share me your recommendations guys thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe tomorrow we leave Whew. let's fucking get it on y'all let's get it on and this is what the space basically looks like prepared to sail table folded up makes it nice and roomy in here now a lot of room to walk around there used to be a pole hanging right here that uh once the soon that it removed added a lot more room so yep this is her